Welcome back, BADM 726, Personal Branding in the EMBA program at the University of Nevada at Reno. We are in week five. Uh, this is a third video in week five. I'd only plan to do two, but the uh, Twitter video that I did last time was a little long, so uh, I ended it, and I'm going to do a little bit more on Twitter, so this is actually uh, the third video in the week five activities. Uh, last time on Twitter, we covered uh, how to tweet and how to take screenshots. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, some stuff in the assignment that I didn't talk about last time. I'm going to talk about uh, hashtags briefly, how to add the UNR hashtag, UNR brand hashtag, and uh, how to create a list and uh, start f uh, finding people to follow, which is a challenge. So uh, here I am back uh, at the Twitter interface. Last time I tweeted from Hootsuite, which I like a lot. It's a free third-party provider that provides a dashboard. I can see the home feed where I mentioned and uh, my sent tweets all in one page. You can't do that from Twitter. So as you can see here, I'm at my profile page. And at my profile page, I can see my sent tweets. But I'm actually going to have to navigate to a different page to see where people have mentioned me. And in, in this interface, it's called the at connect page. And I'd have to navigate to my home page to see the feed of the six, uh, of the 1,100 people that I follow. Um, and to send a tweet as well. So um, let's let's send a tweet and let's add the hashtag. I'm going to come over here to uh, Google+. Plus. All of us are on Google+. Plus. I use this as a way to, uh, to follow your blogs. So I'm asking you to post your blogs into Google+. Plus, and then I will just simply come down to your group and I will view all the blog posts that week quite easily. Here I'm in my, e my MBA class, my on-campus MBA class this semester. And you can see all these blog posts for my MBA students are feeding right down in here. Easy for me to follow. By the way, um, that's a great profile pic right there. Head and shoulders. Um, this is also a great profile pic. So some uh, extra added bonus in here. Let me go to Paul Klein's blog. Paul Klein has been getting a lot of attention on his blog. His blog is called Defining Reno. You can see it's just a very simple, straightforward, uh, clean looking blog. Here is the blog call post called We've Been There. Um, he gets a lot of traffic. People people uh, from Reno like his stuff. I'm going to come down to his Twitter button. Let's click on this and see if he's got his blog post set up the way we like it. And it is. If you can see here, there's the title. Shortened hyperlink via at Paul Klein Reno. Now I'm going to add a hashtag. I'm going to actually add two. I'm going to add the UNR brand hashtag. And I'm going to add a second one. I am Reno. So uh, the UNR brand hashtag is a hashtag I've been using for several years to pull in all of the content from uh, my students. And the I am Reno is a new one. We started this uh, within the last month to kind of identify content from bloggers that are, um, that are blogging about Reno. So the hashtag is simply an, an organizing mechanism. Anyone can use a hashtag. You don't need approval. You can make up any hashtag that you want. Uh, if you're trying to just have exclusive content, it's good to do a little research and make sure no one else is using it beforehand. I'm pretty sure no one else is using the UNR brand hashtag. It's only me, my students, and people that retweet our stuff and include that hashtag. And the I am Reno, uh, same type of deal. When I run uh, the TEDx University of Nevada, I use the hashtag um, TEDxUNR, and anyone that's tweeting about that event pulls in all of the content. So um, it's a very popular mechanism. You can even see that uh, Twitter uses that hashtag uh, at their interface. So let's tweet this, see what it looks like. So let me come back to uh, Twitter. Let me come back to Twitter here. And uh, if I were to refresh this page, let me go to my at connect, and then I'll come back here. At connect, these will be the where people have mentioned me. And you can see here uh, a couple people have mentioned me um, in this tweet that I sent. This is my original blog post. So I want to thank them for doing so. So it's uh, Jennifer Danelli. I would hit reply. Thanks for the retreat of my blog post. Again, it's a way to reach out and begin to form relationships, be personal. 
I don't uh, thank people for, uh, I only thank people for the tweets of my blog posts, not for the tweets of other people's material that I'm moving around. So once again, thanks for the retweet of my blog post. There it goes. All right, so let's come back to uh, my profile page, me. Let's look at that tweet. Um, here it is. We've been there. Shortened hyperlink. Paul Klein Reno. Now click on this hashtag UNR brand and you can see what it's doing. All it's doing is pulling in all of the content from people that use that hashtag. So, And these are my students. So uh, this is a current student, former student, current student, um, undergraduate students, all of my students who are using this hashtag uh, in their tweets. And so if you will use this hashtag once, as I say in the assignment, you'll be able to see each other uh, on Twitter. You'll be able to find each other on Twitter as you use this hashtag. So another thing I want to do is I want to um, I want you to add lists. And uh, you add lists, again, from the profile page. If you come over here to the left, you can see this list. So lists, uh, uh, when they appeared in 2010, they were extremely helpful, uh, a really good mechanism to help us find people in our value stream that tweet about, blog about things, same things that are similar to what we do. I have a number of lists. So um, my very first list was Leadership in Reno. Those things are capped around 500. And so I created uh, Leadership 2 and a Reno More. And you can see that if you were a leadership blogger and you were on Twitter and you were interested in leadership, I've done a lot of work for you. I have uh, almost 900 names. Uh, of people that are on Twitter interested in leadership. If you found my list, you could click on that list. Here is the feed of all those people in my list. And if you click on members, you could see 499 people. You go right down my list and you could choose if you wanted to follow some of these people as well. Now notice that I don't uh, follow everyone that I put on a list. So a list is, for me, one of my um, signaling mechanisms. If I put you on a list, it's a signal that, hey, I see you, I recognize you, you're in my value stream, I'm going to list you. Uh, my personal rule for following, and you'll have to develop your own, is I only follow the people that I can help. So as a general rule, I only follow people that are blogging. As if you're blogging, I can help you by reading your blog, commenting on your blog, uh, tweeting your blog. And again, I help you. Um, for the purpose of, you know, getting you to notice me and maybe you helping me. Because I want you to read my blog, comment on my blog, tweet my blog. So I do for you what I want you to do for me. Um, and so to me, the highest form of connection is I would put you on a list, I would follow you on Twitter, and then the ultimate highest is I would subscribe to your blog. Because if I'm not subscribed to your blog, I'm not reading it. And if I'm subscribed to your blog, I'm, I'm going to see it on a regular basis. I might choose to comment on that blog, might choose to tweet it. And when I do so, I'm giving you a strong signal that, hey, I like what you're doing. I find you very interesting. Um, I'd be interesting, interested in uh, building a relationship with you, talking more. And uh, it, it has been an extremely successful strategy for me and many others here on Twitter. So, um, you know, you need to build a list for whatever it is that you are blogging about your value stream. And it's very easy to do so. You just come over to lists and right up here it says create a list. So um, if I wanted to create a list for the EMBA program, I'd simply do that. Hit uh, save list. Boom, it's there. I can start adding people to the list. Um, so if you're blogging about motorcycles, you need to create a, at least one list for motorcycles. You're blogging about marketing, create a list for marketing. You can create any list that you want to. So the TED Active 2013, I created that a couple months ago to pull in all of the um, people that I found that were at TED Active 2013 that were also on Twitter. So build this one list. Create at least one list for your main value interest, um, whatever that might be, and start looking for people to put on that list. So... How do you find people to put on that list? Again, the search bar is, uh, is a way to you know use the search term to find people in leadership. The discover um, is another way to start looking for people um, that it's going to suggest for you. So let, let me see if I found uh, Emma here. 
let me go to her profile and if I I'm not following her but if I wanted to put her on a list I just open this bar up and say add or remove from lists and I could let's say add her to leadership too if I wanted to just that easy now I'm not sure if she's a leadership blogger so I'm not going to do that but you can see how easy it is to add someone to your list you just find them click on their profile so here she's big data anything social if I wanted to add her to a list I'd come in here I've got a personal branding list I could put her on that list and uh, off we go and I once I hit that uh, have clicked that and checked it I just need to close it and she's on that list all right so um, that's a second uh, short uh, video on Twitter uh, sent another tweet today showed you a properly formatted tweet I added a hashtag and briefly talked about the hashtag uh, for some people the hashtags are confusing but you know just play with it watch what people are doing click on hashtags see how they work think about what is actually going on don't be intimidated by this jump in look around uh, immerse yourself in what's going on this really is an immersion activity um, and and just watch what other people are doing watch how other people are using this very very powerful platform once again, if you have any questions, go to Google. How do I do this? What is a hashtag? How do people use hashtags? Any search term you want, go to YouTube. Do the same thing. I promise you, someone has created a video on hashtags, how to use hashtags on Twitter. Um, send me an email, send me a tweet, um, a number of ways to connect with me and your fellow classmates. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Uh, this is Brett Simmons. Have a great day.